All right, guys, let's go. Yeah, this is, we haven't never been out there before. This is really pleasant. Let's, let's take a look at the sink. Oh, look, there's a quarter pot. Oh, good. Because, <laughs> you know, me. Yeah. I think I shall take advantage of the facilities. There we go. John Toppett's Park Trail Map. So you can go up that way too, is it? Wow, okay. Maybe that's where you come back out. This is like really nice. You can even go fishing here. There's a guy fishing over there. That's really cool. You know, pull up your RV, do a bit of uh, fishing. It's nice and quiet out here. I'm gonna get my fishing license back um, when I renew it. Uh, this would be a good spot we didn't know about. Nice and quiet. Yeah, that is just absolutely beautiful. How long is it all the way around, does it say, it doesn't say? Um, so the whole lower Empire Lake was supposed to be about 1.8. Okay. I don't know what's up with this, but Might I mean... a bridge. There may be a bridge there. If there isn't, then and there's it's a wider, no big deal. The blue is the wider one. That's the wider trail. I don't know what the blue is. I, I saw the red one on um, well, the, the blue trail there thing. Is I did the blue blue trail marker and number, yeah. So yeah, it's a wider trail. Cool. So it's an outer trail, and the so red we'll, is the inner trail. We'll do the inner trail today. Yeah. Well, we'll do the inner trail and see how we feel after that. Yeah, we might we might end up doing both. So we will have plenty. To keep you guys entertained. Oh, we're heading around that way. Okay, I'm, I'm doing it backwards. Um, no, we can go up around that way. Because this way we can go this way. Are you sure that's, this isn't the way up the blue one? No, we are right here. We're on the red. Okay. So if oh, we go okay. up this path, we'll follow the red trail. Okay, all right. Well, okay, now that we're back on track, uh, okay. let's go. Oh, I see. Ah, uh, so that one, that way goes up onto, the left goes up onto the blue one and this goes around. Well, we can check the post. Yeah. Uh, yeah, red, this way. Like that way. I think red is this way. Yeah. It's all right. I mean, we can't really get lost. It's, no. There's a circle around the whole lake, so. Mm -hmm. so let's see what we have. We have Catoni asters, rhododendrons, Douglas firs, spruce. Very many tea needle pines. Ooh, look at this. See the lake down there? Very nice. Salal, lots of salal. Normal for uh, for Oregon. Yeah.
Adam suggests you should have taken a photo of that nest. Ooh. Oh, we have it on video. Oh, what kind of bird is that? That's a nest. Stellar's J. Stellar's J. And okay. a violet green swallow. Oh, okay. This would be the perfect spot to come fishing, you know that? It'd be just lovely. So this is the Stellar's J we're hearing. Okay. The other one was the Swallow. Looks like it's been redone not that long ago. Maybe three, two, three years ago? Yeah. Lovely place to come for your morning walk or jog. a steep-ish incline here. It's good exercise. This would actually be a great place to come and do laps. If you really want to get your walk. Find plants again. Green huckleberry. Green huckleberry. Evergreen. Evergreen, Evergreen huckleberry. huckleberry. Oh, maybe the other way looped around a bit wider and it loops back onto here where the signpost was. Yeah. Yeah, we're definitely on the red track. Yeah, but there's two, like one if you want to take a slightly wider route on the red track, you'd come around there. So. Mm. Oh, wow. That lovely conifer aroma. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wow, I really like this walk. I really like it too. This is cool. I mean, I was just saying that you could, you know, if you, because it's up and down on hills. Yeah. It's really good leg workout as well, so you could it come is. out here and you could do laps. 
you know, do, do like, you know, two or three or four laps. Yep. You get a great workout. It's the hills that make the difference, guys. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Somebody's getting ready to fall. Yeah. Bit of creaking going on there. Oh. oh yeah, that one in the I middle that's yeah. going back and forth, yeah. I don't think it's gonna fall, it's just rubbing off the other one. No, it will. Yeah. Oh, I just went down, it's not just straight ahead up here. Wow, this is a steep. Well. I had um, someone tell me that they they like watching these uh, hype videos while they're on the treadmill at home, so that's cool. That's exactly why we're making them. We can try this way and then... Uh... Yeah, there's two ways again here, so... There's lots for us to explore around here. I can see why they wanted to put the library over here. It's a very pleasant place. Go in and get a book and come out and sit down at one of these benches and have a read. Not bad looking benches either. Quite nice. There's the parking lot back over there. You can see we're going in a loop. You can see Ebon Hawk over there. Again, we're kind of down by the water now, but we're going up into a, a little bit of an incline here, which is nice. And it's identifying more plants. Near this park? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, we have the car so we can come out anytime we want to walk here, you know? Which might be quite frequently. Yeah, I'm pretty stunned. It's, it's lovely. It's a really nice hike. And I love the way you get the inclines, you know. That makes a huge difference. Down to the lake, 
Let me do a bit of fishing. Just going to take a picture. Yeah. Do we have around here? I don't know. I'm just taking photos because the app doesn't like it when we go in and out of internet. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's a crow. He's up there. Screaming down insults upon us. Yeah. This is really spectacular. Even here you can see the evidence of the sand dunes. These were all sand dunes. A long time ago. See the organic matter starting to help them evolve. Another little bench there, and this lake is just literally right there. Ah, oh, this is this is lovely. Can't believe we didn't discover this before now. No, well, I mean we've slowly been using the car to get further and further. Yeah, that's not that far from us. Uh, you could walk it, but it is it is a bit of a distance to walk already. Or six miles, I guess. We have another bench. This is the kind of bridgey part. This no, that is on there. the right is on the right is the lower Empire Lake. On the left is the upper. Upper lake there. So that's our first glimpse of the upper lake. That is lovely. Let's go take a look. Ooh. And can you fish in the upper one as well? I presume you can. Look how clear that water is. Look, you can see little fish. See them? I'm not sure if you can. Oh, look at them. The little small fellas. Hope the camera picks them up. Aww. See them all? All the little Baby babies. frogs. Yeah. Hi tadpoles. Are they tadpoles or are they fish? They might be tadpoles or minnows. I'm not good yeah. with identifying. They're moving too fast. Yeah, it's a big one over there.
road. There's another car park down here. Looks like a lot of people. I wonder what's down there. I think that's the way back. Okay. Yeah, because there's another car park. That's probably the car park for the upper lake. Yeah. Which is right there next to us. Oh yeah, look at the bridge. This is the bridge that was marked. Oh, this is nice. Straight out, some kind of thing. Something moving in there right next to me. Uh, maybe a chipmunk.
Here we have the same post. Yellow that way. Red that way. I have no idea. Probably that way. Probably this way back down around the lake, right? We're going to be out here again because there is a lot to explore out here. Oh, it's so beautiful. It is. Uh, skunk cabbage that we saw at the other park. Oh yeah, like the giant prehistoric cabbage things. Yeah. I don't know how many times in one day I can say beautiful, Oh yeah, doing laps out here. You know, if you if you weren't stopping, like you just came out here just purely for the exercise, doing, yep. doing laps. Oh, you'd be. Well, it's a fantastic place because the uh, the wind is being buffered by the trees. Exactly. So yeah. we're, we're not it's really not feeling the. Uh, we're not really yeah. feeling that 16 miles an hour. Yeah, exactly. We're kind of well sheltered here, you know. This is just beautiful. Another path down to the lake. So there's plenty of access like for fishermen, you know. We just have to look the rules, then. Yeah. There may be areas we can't fish. Yeah, exactly. Another bench, a lovely place to sit and relax and actually you can see the car park, Evanhawk is right across there. It's gone almost full circle. And I noticed some people sit who are marine. inner city people. Yeah. This covering on the lake that you see might yeah. seem really bad, but it's it's actually part of the actual environment lake yeah. process of changing and evolving. Yeah. And you could really walk, you know, get up to a good pace here too, because it's a lovely surface. You, when you're going through um, hiking trails, a lot of times, you know, you, you have to be very aware and very careful because a lot of tree roots do yourself an injury. But here, it's a lovely surface. You could really, whether it's jogging uh, or walking, you could really get up to speed here. Those woods are very low to the range like. They are very Middle Earth like, yeah. Yeah, just look at that. Hi, Bill. 
Yeah. This actually looks quite similar to their journey on the way to Bree. Well, yep. you know, before they got to uh, the ferry and the Nazgul came down the road, you know. Get off the road! Get off the road! That one just goes down to the lake, so yet again, like more access. We can go down and give you guys a look. Oh, look, this is either an old bridge or... Yeah, that's definitely got to be an old bridge. This is where there used to be a bridge where probably got washed away in a flood or something. Yeah, look, you can see the, the yeah, post. Yeah, because the trail on the other side is washed out as well. You can see the post there. Yeah, so it used to be a lovely big bridge here. I wonder at some point will they will they redo it? Well, if the they don't want to mess with the ecology on the other side, so Yeah. That looks very old. This happened a long time ago. That's a very old yeah, bridge. Yeah, it did. Hopefully get this edited and uploaded uh, before I stream tonight. I'll be streaming of course on Twitch a bit later on. And the account Tux Ramos. And I'll be streaming some Lord of the Rings online. At the moment I might change my mind on that. That very pretty chirping you're hearing is a Swinson thrush. Swinson's thrush. Okay. Here we go with another incline. <laughs> Every Oregonian's worst nightmare. Yeah. Yeah, fire being the big one. We have a couple of big ones at the moment in eastern Oregon. Hope all the firefighters uh, stay safe. They're doing an incredible job. That's a nice little spot. Look how green that is. Should be starting to head back around to the other side now. Oh, we'll make it back eventually. Oh yeah. Look how green that is in there. It's absolutely lovely. Yeah. It looks like we head up this way. Going back to the car, this is the This is the way to the lake.
on another incline here. This is a nice one. I just can't get over the conifer smell. Yeah, it's beautiful. Somebody quick invent smell o vision. Okay. Now, I would say this way, but we haven't gone all the way. I'm, I, I'm not sure. Let's try this way. Uh, worst that can happen, we have to just come back. Yeah. And it's so pleasant out here. It is. I see the lake down there, so I think you could be right with this, this direction. That other way probably goes up onto the blue trail, the upper trail. It joins up. Identifying more plants back there. Yes, And downhill. You can see we're right next to the lake. This is, we're going to come out here a lot more often. This is absolutely lovely. There we go. Incredible. Actually, there's houses right there. Just beautiful. Yeah, and you see we're at the side of that broken down bridge now. You can see it out there, it's just, it's just lovely. Great spot for fishing. Just so relaxing here, it's just, you know, it's quiet, it's relaxed, it's Oh, it's, just, it's so pleasant. And again, it splits. I would think down there it goes on to the upper trail. Well, well, actually, yeah, there's a road there, but I think that would probably lead to the blue trail or upper trail. And this one leads back, you can see the car park where Ebenhawk is. 
along there. Wow, that's a big one. Holy moly. Can't do it by bark. That's got to be a redwood, right? Uh, a baby redwood. I don't know. It's massive. The leaves are so high up you can't get them. Highway. Yeah, the, the big ones tend to have those. Took this far. Took this far. This, uh, bark. Yeah. They grow really tall as well. We did. Oh, what a wonderful walk. Oh, just fantastic. When we get our fishing licenses, you now we have a spot to come to yep. and fish in peace. And it's just too bad you can't camp overnight here. Yeah, well, it's kind of understandable. It's just, yeah, it's lovely, just lovely. back which is brilliant so let me see if I can get you guys turned around here so that was absolutely amazing yep yep definitely come back here very soon oh absolutely I mean I think this place will probably become like a, a regular walking spot for us oh see yeah up there behind us yeah and it's just see a incredible. little vulture or eagle or something up there maybe an osprey where is it? Well, there there, was, yeah, there was a the seagull trees. there a while ago. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed <laughs> that one. Uh, we're going to go get some refreshments after yep. that. I'm hungry. Yeah, I'm getting there now as well. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed that. Have a good one. See you later.